Hello, everyone. To another lecture in this Java course. In this lecture, we're going to be talking about variables. In the last lecture, we briefly used variables within our coding process. So now I'm going to go into depth on what variables are. So variables are used to store values in Java, and each variable is assigned a data type. So the proper syntax used, and each variables are. So variables are used to store values in Java, and each variable is assigned a data type. So the proper syntax you need for a variable is you need to specify the data type that you are storing, and then you need to create a variable name. So this variable name is, and then variable is you need to specify the data type that you are storing, and then you need to create a variable name. So this variable name is stands for your variable. Now this name could be anything you name it, but be sure to have proper syntax. And this variable name is going to store whatever data that you give it or assign it. So the syntax is pretty easy. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to go to the code editor and I'm going to show you a few examples. So let's go to the code editor. All right, so we're in our code editor here and let's go ahead and talk about what these variables do in Java. So like we talked about, variables are used to store data. So along with talking about data types, which we talked about in the last lecture, these data types are used to specify what data we talked about. about. So let's go to the code editor. I'm going to show you a few. examples. So let's go to the code editor. All right, so we're in our code editor here, and let's go ahead and talk about what these variables do in Java. So like we talked about, variables are used to store data. So along with talking about data types, which we talked about in the last lecture, these data types are used to specify what data we're storing. But to store this value, we need a variable, which is like a placeholder, which can last lecture, we brief lecture, I'm going to be going in depth about it. Establish our data type, which we need to specify. So we're going to go ahead and use string and we're going to create my variable. variable. And so let's go ahead and talk about the parts here. So this is our data type. This is the data that we're going to be storing. This is our variable name. Now, when naming a variable, you can name it whatever you want, but you need to follow certain rules. The first rule is that try not to have any spaces. Although sometimes it may throw in error, sometimes it doesn't. But make sure you do not have a space if you're using more than two words. If I just name this variable, then I don't need to worry about any spaces. If I had more than one word like my and then variable, make sure they are together. Now, an easy way to make it look clean is start the first word with the lowercase letter. So my begins with the lowercase m. And then every word after that begins with a capital letter. So those are a few rules that you need to keep in mind when you're creating variables. Next, we have a equal sign which separates our keywords between the data. So let's go ahead and place our data and we're going to use our regular hello world. And then we're going to close it with a semicolon, which is proper syntax. Now what these variables do is you can store these values and you can use this variable to call this piece of text anytime you want. Rather than having a print statement that prints hello world